All right, so one more example here using the direct comparison test. Part C, we've got the series from n equals 1 to infinity, arctangent of n over n cubed. So in this one, again, I think, you know, I'm not sure. I think a lot of people, though, would be thrown off by the arctangent of n, you know, sort of, sort of what's going on in, in uh, you know, in this case as n increases. Well, let's recall the graph of arctangent of x. So recall arctangent of x looks roughly uh, like my little graph here. And again, this has an asymptote at pi over 2 and at negative pi over 2. Well, you know, we're plugging in, uh, you know, n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, or equivalently x equals 1, x equals 2, x equals 3, x equals 4, etc. Um, and those are going to be the values we get in the numerator. But, you know, again, if you think about it, arctangent of n... is always going to be, well, it's always smaller than this asymptote pi over 2, and it's, again, always greater than or equal to 0. Again, for values of n that are greater than or equal to 1, well, if this is true, um, we can simply say, well, arctangent of n divided by, what do we have here, n cubed, well, divided by n cubed, that's going to be less than or equal to pi over n, excuse me, pi over 2 divided by n cubed. And again, these are all positive, so I'm kind of leaving out the zeros. Um, so that means the series from n equals 1 to infinity of arc tangent of n over n cubed, that would be less than or equal to the series, you know, pi over 2 divided by n cubed. I'm just going to pull the pi over 2 out front, though, because that's a constant, and we are certainly allowed to do that. Well, if you think about the series n equals 1 to infinity, again, this is our familiar, uh, you know, p series. And again, since our p value is greater than 1, our power is greater than 1, in this case we have a convergent p series. And again, since our uh, series that we're trying to decide whether it converges or diverges, since it's smaller than this convergent p uh, series, and again we always know that this is greater than or equal to zero. By the direct comparison test, we can say that our series must also converge. So again, nothing too crazy. Um, and again, you know, if I just looked at this problem and sort of had no clue, you know, I tell people, you know, again, maybe get rid of the stuff you don't like. Maybe you don't like the arctangent of n. If you were just left with 1 over n cubed, um, hopefully you remember, you know, you say, oh, well, that's a convergent P-series. Again, at that point, you know, I'm thinking maybe this is also a convergent series, and somehow I can use, uh, you know, some sort of uh, comparison test with that series 1 over n cubed. And, you know, that's exactly what we did. We kind of had to justify, you know, the correct inequalities a little bit. But to do that, we just had to really remember the graph of arctangent and the fact that it has an asymptote. And I think if you can remember this part, uh, you know, the rest of it isn't, isn't too terribly bad.